All right, I'm going to try out this uh, Grow More Siphon Mixer, which is a device that you attach up to your hose bib, and then the black hose goes into a bucket that would control contain some um, liquid fertilizer. And the idea is then you can it'll inject that fertilizer into the main water flow, and you can deliver it to your lawn or your plants. According to the directions here. Provide reliable suction at low or high water pressures. Powers up to 200 feet of hose, which is very good. And can even work uphill. So we're going to connect it up to my uh, system here. And we'll see if it works. Alright, so what I have here is my setup. The blue hose goes to my hose bib down here. House pressure. That'll go and be read by this pressure gauge. We're going to go through this uh, siphon mixer device. The siphon mixer device, it has it comes with a black hose, but I connect the, the clear one up. It goes over to my mix. The clear, that way you'll be able to see that there's actually liquid flowing up into the mixer. The output side is the output pressure. That, I can select this black hose which goes over to my hose reel, comes back as this red hose, and right now I just have it open-ended. The other option is a short hose, which is just like six feet long, so I can tell the difference when I'm uh, testing it either with a long hose or a short hose. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll turn, in, turn on the input. Full power. You'll see the pressure come up on the input side. That will also be reflected on the output side. It, it normally spikes above the normal input pressure because it's in a got a rubber hose. If I turn on the input, sorry, if I turn on the output to the large hose, <clears throat> we'll get the water flowing there. Now you can see that the nominal running input pressure is around 25 psi the nominal output pressure is about 15 psi <clears throat> and looking at my setup here we're not getting any flow at all even though I have this setting here on the maximum of five So now if I switch to the shorter hose, you can see the output pressure is dropping to near zero. I'm actually getting very good flow. I'll lift up here so you can see the, the bubble. I'll put it back in the water. We're getting very good mixing, mainly because the output pressure it's dropped way down because I don't have the back pressure of a long hose, even a long open hose. The input pressure is staying about 25 psi. Now I'm going to put a hose in sprayer on the end of a short hose and see if we can still get mixing. All right, I switched the short hose actually to a 25 footer, which is a little more uh, normal for be able to reach something like a local garden and if I turn the, the water on for that output side you can see the input pressure again 25 the output pressure is needing near zero so that means we should be able to get good suction and sure enough I don't know if you can watch that bubble there but it's going to be coming up Put it back in the water here you'll see very good flow coming up through here so this setup here with an open-ended 25 foot hose seems to work very well now watch i'm going to put a a, a ball valve on the end here and you'll be able to see how that affects the output pressure and then you'll see the next one the short hose here i've just put a shut off valve or which is basically a ball valve in the middle down in there and when i turn it on
Give it a good, good solid flow. We're eating a little bit higher than zero on the output pressure. Input pressure should be about the same, 25. And uh, we are getting, still getting good mixing, as we can call that bubble there. Coming up here. So we are getting some mixing. Now watch what happens. Oh, I could show this here. So as I turn down this valve, you'll see the output pressure starting to go up. And essentially the mixing has stopped. So any kind of, re any, this is the normal, low, uh, fully open, slightly restricted, and now I'm not getting any flow through this valve. So that really kind of demonstrates what happens when you put, try to put a hose end sprayer on here, or uh, the equivalent of a longer length of hose is enough, provide enough back pressure to the output side of this device where you're gonna have flow get stopped. So we now know that uh, this Venturi siphon device here does work with a 25 foot rubber hose, uh, 5 8 inch, and if as long as it's a, got an open end Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, I've got this uh, metering valve turned all the way down and we're going to see when the mixing starts to pick up uh, once I get the water flowing here. So I'll turn on the water. We're getting full flow out of there. We have zero output pressure. Basically no real back pressure from the hose side. Still got our 25 pounds per square inch on the input side. So now I'll start to increase this until I start to see some action. There you go, right there. So about a setting of two, I'm starting to get some flow out of my mixing tank here. And so I could actually probably calibrate this. If I was to use this device, I could probably adjust that to determine how much mixing I want to have happen between each of the settings there. All right, I guess that does it for this particular one. We'll see what else. One I can final test. thing, I sh slow down the input flow to just find out where yeah, at full setting here, where I could still get some mixing going on. So you don't have to be running your your hose at full full um, gallons per minute rate. You can still get mixing going on uh, with a low setting on your input. And uh, you'll be in good shape.